In 1986, a groundbreaking graphic novel called The Watchman was published, written by Alan Moore and illustrated by Dave Gibbons. It was a story that challenged the conventions of the superhero genre, exploring complex themes such as power, morality, and nature of heroism. It was a story that demanded to be adapted to the big screen, and in 2009, director Zack Snyder brought that story to life in a film that would divide audiences and critics alike. This is the Cinema Library, and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you one of the best comic book movies of all time, in my honest opinion anyway. Now, quickly before we get started, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video as this would help me make more content like this one in the future. The Watchmen is a movie that defies easy categorization. It's a superhero movie, but it's also a political thriller. It's a meditation on the nature of power, but it's also a story about flawed, complicated characters struggling to do the right thing. It's a movie that's full of violence and spectacle, but it's also a movie that's not afraid to tackle big ideas and philosophical questions. The movie opens with an unforgettable sequence that sets the tone for the rest of the story. Set to Bob Dylan's The Times They Are Changing, the sequence shows glimpses of an alternate history where superheroes have been a part of American life for decades. It's a sequence that's both nostalgic and unsettling as it sets up the movie's central question. What happens when the world's most powerful beings become disillusioned with the society they're meant to protect? The one thing about The Watchmen that distinguishes it from other movies is the fact that you won't really see the villain behind all the chaos unfolding right before your eyes. And to me, that is truly one of the more interesting aspects of this movie. Unlike other movies where the villain is made known to the audience somewhere at the beginning of the movie, with Watchmen, you are left wondering who is behind all these plans and that sets you on a journey to learn the truth behind it all. The Watchmen is a team of superheroes, although they are not a traditional superhero team in the sense that they are not publicly known or sanctioned by any government or authority. The team consists of six members, Rorschach, Night Owl, Silk Spectre, Ozymandias, Dr. Manhattan and The Comedian. The Watchmen were originally formed in the 1960s by the United States government as a response to rising crime rates and the threat of nuclear war. However, after years of operating as a team, they disbanded in the 1970s due to increased government regulation and public backlash against superheroes. In the movie, the Watchmen are brought back together by the impending threat of nuclear war and the murder of the comedian. However, their reunion is complicated by the fact that they are all dealing with their own personal issues and they are forced to confront their own flaws and limitations as superheroes. While the Watchmen may not be a traditional superhero team, they are united by a common goal to protect humanity and to uphold their own sense of justice and morality. Their dynamics and interactions with each other add to the complexity of the movie's themes and messages. At the beginning of the movie, you will see the comedian fight a masked villain. This is a shocking scene as the team's former member gets attacked and killed by an unknown assailant. This scene sets the tone for the entire movie and introduces some of the central themes and conflicts that the characters will grapple with. The scene begins with the comedian in his apartment watching news coverage of the political turmoil in the world. He is then attacked by a masked assailant who brutally beats him and throws him out of his high-rise apartment window to his death. If you notice in Watchmen, there is an iconic symbol, the yellow smiley face. So what does this smiley face represent? The smiley face symbol is a recurring image that serves as a powerful metaphor for the themes of the story. The smiley face is a simple image, but it carries a lot of meaning throughout the film. On one level, the smiley face represents the idea of facade or superficiality. The smiley face is a simplistic, happy image that is often used to mask deeper emotions or darker intentions. This idea is reflected in the character of the comedian, who wears a smiley face pin and uses humour and sarcasm to hide his true feelings and motivations. On another level, the smiley face represents the fragility of human life and the precariousness of existence. The image of the blood-stained smiley face which appears in the opening scene of the film suggests that even the most innocent and harmless symbols can become tainted and corrupted by violence and destruction. The smiley face represents the theme of duality and moral ambiguity. The smiley face is a simple binary image with two dots for eyes and a curved line for a mouth. 
This simplicity reflects the film's exploration of the complex and contradictory nature of human morality and how even the most well-intentioned actions can have unintended consequences. Overall, the smiley face symbol in Watchmen represents a complex and multi-layered set of themes and ideas and it is one of the most enduring and powerful symbols in the entire film. As the story unfolds, we learn more about the comedian and his complicated past. In a flashback to his time in Vietnam, we see him committing a brutal act of violence against a pregnant woman which is juxtaposed with his later redemption as a hero in the eyes of the public. The investigation into the comedian's murder is a key part of the movie's plot as the other members of the Watchmen are forced to confront their own past actions and decisions and they must navigate a world where heroes can be both revered and reviled. The comedian's death serves as a catalyst for the events of the movie and underscores the fragility of human life. It also highlights the movie's exploration of the nature of heroism and the complex morality that comes with being a superhero. The Watchmen is a movie that's brimming with complex themes and perhaps the most important of these is moral ambiguity. The movie challenges our assumptions about what's right and wrong and it forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about the world we live in. Throughout the story, we see characters who are both heroic and flawed and we're forced to question whether their actions are justified or not. One of the most fascinating characters in The Watchmen is Rorschach, a vigilante who's as brutal as he is uncompromising. Rorschach embodies the moral ambiguity of the entire story. On the one hand, he's fighting for justice and trying to rid the world of evil. On the other hand, his methods are often extreme and violent, and he seems to take pleasure in punishing those he sees as deserving of punishment. He is a character who's both sympathetic and terrifying, and he challenges us to consider the limits of our own morality. Rorschach's severe personality disorder is a result of his traumatic childhood, and it's a reminder that mental illness is often the result of past experiences. The movie portrays his condition with nuance, showing both the dangers of his violent tendencies and the humanity behind his actions. In contrast to Rorschach, Night Owl is a character who's lost his sense of purpose. He's a retired superhero who misses the thrill of being a hero, but he's also aware of the flaws in the superhero system. In a way, he represents the audience's perspective on the story. He's a character who's both fascinated and horrified by the world of superheroes, and his journey throughout the movie is a reflection of the audience's own journey. There's Silk Spectre, a woman struggling to escape the shadow of her famous mother, and she's also a character who's caught in the middle of the movie's central conflict. On the one hand, she's loyal to her fellow superheroes and wants to help them save the world, on the other hand, she's also grappling with her own doubts and fears about what it means to be a hero. Night Owl and Silk Spectre represent the idea that heroism isn't always about physical strength. They're characters who are struggling to find their place in a world that's changing rapidly, and their journey is a reminder that sometimes the most heroic thing we can do is to stand up for what's right, even if it means going against the norms of society. But perhaps one of the most intriguing characters in the entire film is Dr. Manhattan, an all-powerful being who's become disconnected from humanity itself. He is a character who represents the dangers of too much power. His abilities have made him almost omniscient, which means knowing everything, but they've also made him cold and unfeeling. You see, Dr. Manhattan perceives time differently. He experiences the past, present, and future concurrently, which means all at the same time. They are all one of the same. However, due to the infinite possibilities in the world we live in, Dr. Manhattan can't change tomorrow any more than we can change yesterday. What happens, happens when they are supposed to. If you notice, he always speaks of his memories in present tense. He always says is as opposed to was. It's almost unfathomable, but that's what makes him amazing. He's a being that can see the world in a way that we can't even imagine, but it's also a man who's lost touch with his humanity. He's become disconnected from the people around him, and he struggles to connect with his own emotions. He is the most powerful being on the planet. He can see through time and space. He can manipulate matter with a thought. He has also walked across the surface of the sun as he stated in the movie. I have walked across the surface of the sun. 
In a way, he's a cautionary tale about what happens when we lose touch with our humanity. The Watchman also explores the nature of heroism itself. The comedian is a character who embodies this theme. He is a character who is both heroic and deeply flawed, and his story is a reflection of the complexities of heroism. His actions are often deplorable, but there's also a tragic quality to his character that makes us empathize with him. The comedian is one of the most controversial characters in the Watchmen movie. He is a former member of the Watchmen, a team of superheroes, and his death at the beginning of the movie sets off a chain of events that drives the story forward. The comedian, whose real name is Edward Blake, is first introduced as a cynical and violent character. He has a reputation for being a ruthless hero, willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. However, as the story progresses, we learn more about the comedian's complicated past and the events that shaped his character. One of the most revealing scenes involving the comedian is his confrontation with Malik, a former villain who is dying of cancer. In this scene, we see a more vulnerable side of the comedian as he reflects on his past and the moral ambiguity of his actions. Ozymandias is the movie's main antagonist. Although his motivations are not entirely clear at first, he's a man who's convinced that he can save humanity, but he is willing to do so at any cost. He is a man who's willing to make the hard choices, even if it means sacrificing innocent lives. So the question is, is Ozymandias actually the bad guy? The answer is yes and no. He is a character who challenges the very notion of heroism and morality and his actions will have far-reaching consequences for the rest of the story. And it forces the audience to question their own assumptions about what it means to be a hero and whether the ends justify the means. His story is a reminder that sometimes the greatest heroes are the ones who are willing to make the toughest choices. Rorschach investigates the murder of the comedian. This is a world where heroes are not always heroic and villains are not always villainous. It's a world where morality is a slippery slope. Rorschach is eventually captured and sent to prison by the police, who were on the lookout for him after he was implicated in the murder of a former villain named Moloch. It's here that we get a glimpse into his psyche. He is a damaged individual, haunted by the things he's seen and the things he's done. But he's also a man of principle, willing to do whatever it takes to uncover the truth. Oh yeah. And this scene is so badass. Honey, you seem to understand. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Rorschach discovers Ozymandias' plans through a combination of detective work and intuition. Throughout the movie, Rorschach is portrayed as a highly observant and analytical character with a talent for piecing together seemingly unrelated details to form a larger picture. As he investigates the murder of the comedian, Rorschach begins to uncover evidence that points to a larger conspiracy at play. He becomes suspicious of Ozymandias and begins to believe that he may be responsible for the comedian's death and other acts of violence. Rorschach's suspicions are confirmed when he breaks into Ozymandias' office and finds evidence that he is planning a massive conspiracy to save humanity. Rorschach is horrified by what he has discovered and he decides to expose Ozymandias' plans to the world even if it means risking his own life in the process. Rorschach's discovery of Ozymandias' plans sets in motion the events that lead to the movie's climactic finale, in which the other members of the Watchmen are forced to confront the difficult ethical questions raised by Ozymandias' actions. John Osterman's transformation into Dr. Manhattan is the result of a tragic accident. John was a nuclear physicist who was caught in a lab accident that destroyed his body at the atomic level. However, instead of dying, John's consciousness was fused with the subatomic particles that made up his body. Over time, John learned to control these particles and reconstitute himself into a new form, Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan's powers include the ability to manipulate matter at the atomic level, the ability to teleport and see through time, and the ability to duplicate himself. His transformation into Dr. Manhattan is a crucial event in the movie as it serves as a metaphor for the dangers of unchecked scientific progress and the blurred line between a being with unlimited power and humanity. Ozymandias believes that the world is on the brink of nuclear war and that a massive global catastrophe is imminent. Ozymandias fears that humanity will destroy itself in the process and he sees his plan as the only way to prevent this outcome. 
One of the most climactic and thought-provoking scenes is when Dr. Manhattan confronts Ozymandias. This scene brings to the forefront some of the movie's most pressing themes including power, responsibility, and having complete control over almost every situation. At this point in the movie, Ozymandias has just revealed his plan to destroy several major cities in order to unite humanity against a common enemy, Dr. Manhattan who has the power to see through time and space, confronts Ozymandias and challenges his actions. This scene is significant because it forces Dr. Manhattan to confront his own power and the responsibility that comes with it. As a being with abilities that he possesses, Dr. Manhattan is acutely aware of the impact his actions can have on the world. Ozymandias, on the other hand, believes that he is doing what is necessary to save the world. He is willing to make the difficult choice even if it means sacrificing innocent lives. Ultimately, Dr. Manhattan is faced with a difficult decision. Should he stop Ozymandias and risk causing even more destruction or should he let the plan go forward and hope that it leads to a better future? Well, I will leave it at that. I can go on for hours when it comes to this movie. But that is all the time that I have for now. So what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I would highly recommend this movie if you haven't watched it. Until next time, take care of yourselves.